his man. Chad from Saka. Inside leg kick from Bobo Saka. Nice Chad from Sacco, checks the low kick. Good long reach here from Bobo Sacco. Outside leg kick from Philip Dunn. Built like an absolute powerhouse is Philip Dunn. Kicks the lead leg, high number five. And again, choosing one spot. He's going to try and get in that leg. Kicks the leg once more. Flurry on the inside oh. there from Pulup Dam. Sucker, long reaching jab. Pulup Dam continues to hit the leg. One way to slow down the punches of your opponent is to take out his legs. You can see the way Bobo Saka is kind of overextending on his punches because he's having to punch down to Kulab Dam. And Kulab Dam loves to time that overhand left. It'll be interesting to watch how this match progresses with that left hand of Kulab Dam. You can't move your feet, you cannot box properly. Both men wearing the Prajet armbands around their biceps. Nice two-punch combination from Philip Dam. Big outside leg kick from the tie. Short right hand there from Sacco. Good job of Sacco starting to land. Ooh, I really have to you want to connect though with the front of the shin rather than the slack of the instep. Jab two from Sacco. Outside leg kick from Philip Dam. Off the ropes now. Sacco, nice leg kick that time. Turned it around the sciatic nerve. Down. comes in with such a good reputation. Seven knockouts in a row at Channel 7 Stadium in Thailand. Almost unheard of. Nice turning right hand there from Pulup Down. Snappy jab from Saka. Saka is starting Six, to step out. Seven, he has these eight, little steps eight, that he does. Oh. He's trying to cut the corner when he turns out to the right. But Kuladam is timing it. He's connecting with his leg kicks and overhand left. That's why they call him the left meteorite. And the meteorite crash on the face of Pablo Saka. Saka ties him up. Kuladam drops his back. saka has got to slow this down. He's going to get a minute break here in a minute. High kick from Bobo. Stop, stop! Into the first round, we got the towel. Well, standing gate. Put on Bobo, Sacco of France. And Philip Dam, Sorjo Pekutai. Winning the first round comfortably. Watch this. Look at that. Just right on the top of the head, landed beautifully there by Kulab Dom. And that wobbled, and that was a delayed reaction. It slowly sunk in, and then the legs started to give way, and then he caught him again with another big left hand. You can see Kulab Dom is very correctly named with that left meteor right, because that's what that left hand is. It's like getting hit with a sledgehammer. Beautiful timing from Kulab Dom. We are ready to rock and roll. Second round of three. Great opening round from Kulab Dam. The left meteorite right crashed onto the face of Bobo Sacco. Now can Sacco turn the tide? Can he find a way to swing momentum in his favor? He's got to use his speed. He's got to use his reach. But he's got to use his angle. Kulab Dam, full of confidence, Mitch. Gotta be careful stepping off to that right. He does that a lot. I've seen it from a lot of his past fights. He likes to throw, step off to the right. Pulled down, timed it. Catch him again with that left hand. Pull it down, Bogey. And Bobo Saka, look at him, saying, come on, what have you got? Let's bring it. Taunting, baiting, Bobo Saka. Getting inside the Frenchman's head. Playing physical and psychological games. Nice knee there from Bobo Saka. Pull up down. A young man of such massive power and technique. The adjustments on the footwork from Saka. 
He's not stepping off like that. He's also utilizing that jab. Ooh, back left hook. Just. Right way towards the drill. A couple of seconds. A second attack. Good time. Good time. Hard to pull the hit down for the main two. Great. Smiles at him. There's that left hand again. It's like he's swinging a sock full of rocks at the face of the other side. Shaka should try and watch that knee again. But I believe that he does just that, pull the opponent down while driving the knee up and deliver up to 2.5 tons of force. Enough to lift the car. Incredible if he can latch on and pull the head down. Stop! Stop! Step right! Step right! Hey, be careful, yeah? Be careful what you need. Here on his track. Box! Although Saka needs to get off first here. Outside leg kick for the Frenchman. Tried to double up on it. Ooh, there's the clinch from Bobo. You see how he's changed the game plan now. It's not about distance. It's about getting on the inside and clinching up with Kulak Dark. Maybe his corner believes there now he has the upper hand in the clinch with the elbows and the knees. Good uppercut to straight left hand combination landed by Sako. Sako, left hook. Referee Deluxe just breaks him. 20 second round. Second round of three. No round this from Kulakdan. After the explosiveness of the first stanza. Comes forward now to tie. You see the point tie stance, the elbows flared out. Arms turned out to catch the kicks on the forearms, catch the elbows. Hurry away the jabs. Elbows out to catch the kicks. In the house tonight, the greatest K1 champion of all time, Ernesto Hoost, is here in the VIP section. Great to have the all time greatest. Four-time K1 World Grand Prix heavyweight champion, Ernesto Hoost, here in Vietnam. Watching you guys all week has just been an absolute treat, Michael, here. The stories that you guys have been telling, he is truly something special. But right now, we've got round three of Sako and Kulab Dam. It's a very, it was a much better round for Bobo Sako. He was able to make those adjustments, utilize the clinch a little bit better, shut down that monstrous left hand of Kulab Dam. Really started to close the distance, was able to utilize the clinch well. But in that third round, this is where we typically see Kulab Dam go absolutely bananas. So expect this round to be the one. Do not go to the bathroom or the restroom, ladies and gentlemen. This is the one you gotta watch. Third and final round inside the sold out Futur Indoor Stadium for the championship. A little triumph from Ho Chi Minh City. Jab two, nice to get from Bobo Saka. Eventually the rhythm's gonna get you, and it's getting pulled down so far here in the third. Bobo Saka teeing off on him. Nice jab from the Frenchman. Really let him off the road. Keeps him there. Low kick, up and cut. Well threaded from Saka. Saka's corner are going off their rockets. Barking instructions at their move. Double four arms guard from Pillar Town. Saka, oh, power through the lockdown! Oh. Yeah. Nicely done from Bobo Saka. It's been all one-way traffic. It's been all the Frenchman here in the third round. Yeah, he's had a much better round here in the third. He's really starting to turn it on. Pull down his slowed, and Bobo Saka has turned it on. 
Listen, 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 One minute five remaining. Saka on the track foot. Put it down, showing no need the power. Stop, the stop. He had in the it's first or the second. He landed with that left hand, though. Shaka ties him up, throws the knees. Knee guard put on by Philip Dark. Definitely Sako's round so far. Don't know too much French, but I that Ale means go. I want Sako to go. I want to go nuts on Philip Dark for the final 30 seconds. And that's going to go for the time. Down two rounds, so he's got to end it in this one, Michael. Two world champions in the ring. Hey. Sake to front kick. Nice push kick Stop. by Kulab Dam. Is that right? Come on. Both. He's collapsed. He's breaks him. Sako waits forward. Has he got one big salvo remaining? Oh, beautifully cutting kick to the midsection there for Kulab Dam. Fires the left medium right. And the end of the round. Good. We are going down the judges' track in the middle was a much better round for Borosako. Man, I wish this was a five-rounder. I would have loved to have seen two more rounds from these two bantamweight warriors. He was able to do so much good work, especially when he got Kulab down against the ropes here. Look at him, boom, two punches land, three, four, five, all connected. Beautifully done by Bobo Sako. Wow. Man, that was so close, but the knockdown in the first, the second round was pretty close, and then the third round was Bobo Sacco, so, ah. You have to do the math, ladies and gentlemen. You can do that at home, figure it out for yourself. Three judges, a 10-point must system, give the winner of the round 10, the less top of the box at nine. How do you score it? For Kulabdam Sojo Pietai, or for Bobo Saka? Let's go to Tom Lau and find out our winner. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of battle, we turn now to the judges' scorecards. All three judges have scored this contest in favor of your winner by unanimous decision from the Red Corner.